Hello. Um, I see a lot of posts, uh, people having trouble using mod merger for some reason, and uh, I thought it was time to make a small video to show to show you how it works. So uh, first, you need to download mod merger. Um, I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, when you unpack it, you have three folders. That is mod merger, mods and output. Well, we start with the first one because there is something very important in there. And uh, that is this file, the original .gdcc. Um, this is uh, normally the global point .gdcc. Uh, and you need, after every uh, update of Call of the Wild, uh, you need, uh, uh, you it can be that you need a new one. Well, it can be downloaded uh, from Nexus Mods. Um, I posted with a couple of my mods, I posted it, um, as you can see here. This is the latest uh, global point .gdcc file. What you need to do with it is copy it into this directory and rename it to original.gdcc. If you don't do that, um, things go, go terribly wrong. You get uh, you get errors and and so on. So the folder mods in there you need to create a path, drop zone, then settings, and then HP underscore settings. In there you put your dot bin files so in this case you see uh, this is for uh, cheaper dogs uh, here's the equipment uh, with uh, cheaper uh, cheaper guns cheaper the ammo and and so on this is uh, for hunting pressure now uh, and so on these are all the reserves uh, with double population the resting data that is for uh, that if you rest in the game you don't pay uh, a lot of money now if you done that, we have the last folder output. This is where the uh, mod merger places the global .gdcc. Now, no, wait. Let's remove that. All right. So once you have the latest global uh, .gdcc and rename it to original .gdcc in this map, you can fire a mod merger. And that looks like this. Don't mind this one, you can click on OK, that's fine. As you can see, everything is fine, everything is green. And then you can say Merge Mods. And here you can see that the output is done. Alright. Now, we go to the Output folder and as you can see it created a new global.gdcc. Now where do we put this file? This file you put in your drop zone folder under gdc. And once you've done that the game should run smoothly. Well, that's all I have to tell you about it. So I wish you the best of luck and hope everything goes well.